Hey folks, welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program. Last time we did some work on our mall. I'm pretty happy with how things are going here. We made some good progress. Uh, one thing I would like, however, is I'd like to have... I'd like to take our motors and I'd like to get production up and running here on the two levels of kind of motor above that, the electromagnetic turbine and the supermagnetic ring. And I'd like them to be adjacent. So, what we're going to do to make that happen... is we're going to come back here. And we're actually going to pull some motors out here. Uh, let's turn these filters off. How do I... Where? How do I access the filter here? I need to... I need to turn you off, please. For some reason, I'm not able to... I guess this was copied as part of the blueprint. I mean, I guess I can delete these like that. Sure, that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's pull out a little bit of motors. And let's build some miniature production chains here for the other two types of things. So... I do want to come back this way, I think. And put some space back here to build. That looks fine. Uh, I'll actually maybe pull from this. Well, I want to. I want to pull from kind of like here. No, maybe I do want to pull from here. And then we'll come along this line like this and just pick things off of here. So let's get some motors coming out here. And let's see what we want to build. So I would like to start with the electromagnetic turbines. Those require motors and uh, electro and magnetic rings, magnetic coils, sorry. So, let's just put down, like... Hmm. Let's just put down, like... Maybe one builder is enough. One manufacturer. And I guess we'll... Come back here a bit. So, I don't want... I don't want too much belt spam. Uh, I want to leave room for growth back here if I want to do more builds like this. I don't want too much belt spam. So let's start like this. You're going to make me some electromagnetic coils or electromagnetic turbines. And we're going to need these for the supermagnetic rings as well. We're going to need two thirds of this uh, for every one. Every three of these we produce, two are going to go into magnetic rings. Um, how much are you going to consume? You're going to perform. You could do 30 recipes per minute at full power, but you're at 0 0.75. So you're going to do 22.5 uh, per minute. That's fine. You'll eat up 45 motors per minute. I guess that's okay. Uh, so let's, let's also then go ahead and grab a depot here like this. You'll feed in... You'll feed in the, uh, the coils... And you'll, this belt will feed in the motors. And then we'll throw a demander on here, a logistics, uh, logistics distributor. It's going to request magnetic coils. Uh, there's two available routes, one route out of range. I don't know exactly where those routes are. But my thought was that they might come from over here. That's the closer route. So we'll put down maybe one more of these. Or we'll put down some logistics here. And then we'll set you to provide other distributors. There we go. Uh, now the other thing I want to do is I don't want this to use up a huge staggering amount. 
So we're going to set our automation limit here. We're going to limit it to... Yeah, just one slot is enough, I think. So one slot there and the belt will feed in. You'll produce some motors for me. Very nice. Okay. Uh, so you'll produce electromagnetic turbines. And then what I want to do is use two thirds of your output. Uh, I think I've messed that up. Yeah, I have. I need to go one closer. Uh, you're also going to need a little bit of power. Let's, let's keep it in line like this. Looks good. Now, the next thing I want is I want two thirds of your output going towards electromagnetic rings and one third going into this tower as its, uh, as its fourth item. So we're gonna change this, I guess, to electromagnetic turbines. You're going to demand from elsewhere, and at some later date, we'll have more of these producing on an interplanetary network, and they'll come in. Uh, but for now, your only source will be this little thing in the back. Uh, let's come over here and set up magnetic, super magnetic rings. And then we also want, we, were, we had what we removed, the proliferator mark three. Let's set these to 3,000 each, set these to 3,000 each. Uh, let's go ahead and put these in here. Demand, demand. Okay, looks good. So I'm not sure I know a better way to do this, but if you're putting out... You're going to put out 45 electromagnetic turbines per minute, right? That's what we came up with? No, you're going to put out 22.5. If I had two of them, it would put out 45. Maybe that's better. Maybe maybe two of them is better. Let's get let's get one more here. I don't want to get greedy. I don't want a huge build, but I think I think making 45 per minute is enough. Uh, which means we should probably bump this up to two slots. Like that. Okay. Uh so If you're going to produce that for me, 45 per minute, then I do have an idea for how to get the output split the way I want it. Which is, um, we'll put one output belt here. Like this. So you'll output these. And then... Uh, we will take another belt three tiles away. So one, two, three, like this. And we'll take two thirds of your 45 per minute by using Mark One sorters. So uh, you. This sorter, where's the sorter itself? How do I select the sorter? There we go. You're doing 0.5 trips per second, which means you're going to pull off uh, 30 of these items per minute. That's two thirds. Two thirds of 45, right? So 30 per minute will go onto this line for producing super magnetic rings. The other 15 per minute here will sneak back around into the tower and join the output line, right? I think that's right. Yeah. So two thirds will come here and make super magnetic and be used to make super magnetic rings. The other third or 15 per minute will go in here. And uh, so this is not going to be great for the, the, I'm not going to really be able to use these for anything, but they'll be available to me. Um, at some point, we will need to increase production on this quite a bit from some other source of input. Now, the other option is to say, well, we've got a ton of motors coming in. 
And so we could afford to eat more of this, more of the motors. But then we need more of the magnetic coils and it kind of spirals. So I think we'll leave it as is for now. Um, so I do want to get rid of you and you. Uh, over here, we would like to have production for uh, the next type of item. And maybe I'll just keep it close. And then we'll belt it over and put it in like that. So let's figure out what's involved here. Uh, this is going to provide 30 per minute of the super mag of the electromagnetic coils. The recipe here calls for. Let's see. You're going to be doing uh, 15 per minute, and you're going to need 30. Yeah, you're going to need exactly that many. So then, if we add in magnets and graphite, we're golden. So just one of these should be fine. Where do I want to place it? I guess we'll place it over here. So you need magnets and graphite. And if we provide that... Uh, sorters. We provide magnets and graphite. Uh, I am running out of belts here. If we provide magnets and graphite, you can make me super magnetic rings. 15 per minute is fine. Let's get some additional inputs going here and here. We'll get some depots down and request the materials we want. So you're going to, uh, you guys need to reverse. Oh yeah. I had a tip about building belts. So if, if I go like this, oh, uh, interesting. So you can alter the, if you hit the R key, you can alter the path. And if you hit it enough times, you can draw a direct path without having to like follow the grids. I wish I'd known that a lot earlier. Uh, uh anyway. Cool tip there. Uh, so you guys need to request uh, energetic graphite and magnets. So you request energetic, or you request magnets. What's the high throughput one? It's the magnets, right? Yeah. Okay. And feed in. You request energetic graphite from somewhere. Request from other distributors. Request from other distributors. Get a power tower here somewhere. What's the line? It's like here. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, one available route, one out of range. Okay, so energetic graphite is not in range. And magnets are not in range. Okay, so let's go set up energetic mag uh, graphite and magnet. Uh, here's magnets. You're going to provide to others. And then do we have energetic graphite as well? We do. We can come over here get some of this going. Okay. Provide to others. Uh, you should now be making a few super, uh, super magnetic rings for me, I think. Uh, let's set filters here. You're going to filter to electromagnetic turbines. You're going to filter to super magnetic rings. You're going to filter to 
uh, Mark III prolif proliferators. And you need to come over here and join the input party. So let's grab you. Come around like this. Over here. Filter in. Get a sorter going. There we go. Okay. So there's a couple more things done. Um, these higher tier items, we can't use them in automated production chains until we get higher production going. But uh, they're available to me to use as I need, which is important. And there's only a few right now. It'll take it a while for it to build up. Uh, but we have other work to do. So we'll be able to come back here and get these later. Uh, for, for what purpose, I'm not sure yet. But I wanted to get the basics started there so that these are very slow, but over time they'll fill these up for me. And I can use them in, in crafting. I can dump them into boutique production chains, whatever I want to do. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at what we want these, these two outputs to be. Uh, we have energetic graphite. I think plastic would be a good one to have. And graphene. I know we have some graphene production already. And I think some plastic as well. So let's try setting those up. So you're going to be... You're going to ask for plastic. You're going to ask for graphene. Let's set your loads. Plastic and graphene. Let's go find where those are being made. And let's send them over. Yeah, I'm really not sure where a lot of this stuff is anymore. I've lost track of like, I, I, I no longer have a very good uh, sense of what, what my factory layout is. Uh, so we're producing plastic here. Some of that is being fed into this production chain, which is making what? Organic crystals? Now, why have you dried up? You don't have fuel. Why don't you have fuel? Hold on, let's chase this down. Are you guys producing enough fuel? Did my oil seep dry up or what? 1.5 per second. We might not have enough anymore. Enough raw, raw oil? No. What is the problem here? So raw oil goes on here. You don't have enough Oh, you have a product overflow. What's your problem? You're outputting hydrogen and refined oil, right? Lack of material coal. Uh, oh, I've got, I've got a busted, look at this. I got a busted setup here. It's supposed to be reaching out for coal. There we go. So that was a problem. What about you two? What's your problem? Lack of material. Lack of material raw oil. So yeah, we may not be generating as much oil from the well as I thought we were. Or as we originally were. It may have reduced its output since we set it up. Because I don't think it was this low. Uh, can I see... Does it... If I click out of build mode here. I don't think it was at 1.5. I think it was a little bit higher. Hmm. What about you? What are you at? 
Uh, you're at 0 0.6. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're eating up all the oil. Interesting, interesting. So, okay. I came here to get plastic, was the idea. It's feeding into this chain to make organic crystals, so it's not really available. Uh, if we had overflow, it would be down here. Yeah, if we had extra, if we had extra plastic, it would be here where it's not being used. So let's grab this line. And let's see what we can do with that. Let's let's put this let's put this into a distri into a distribution network like this. Uh, I guess for now we'll just grab whatever we can get. And then we'll distribute plastic. So this is the end of the line. Nobody else is using this plastic. So this plastic can go somewhere useful. Uh, distribute to other distributors. Yeah, okay. So then we need we need a nearby planetary tower to, to ship this to. Let's take a look at what we've got. Uh, we have a tower over here, which is full. And we may have some other extras here. So let's go ahead and throw this tower down like here. Let's throw another planetary tower over there. Uh, we could have just belted this extra in. Th this extra in, I guess, but would have been kind of a hassle. So let's just do it with uh, logistics bots. All right, so you are going to be a planetary logistics station. We want you kind of in tight so that we can get some other things going here. I think that's fine. Then we'll request that plastic we just set up and we'll belt it in here. Like this. So plastic goes... No, it looks like I can do this. There we go. Uh, you are going to supply plastic around the planet. Once we get some into you. Let's give you some drones. Uh, you are going to... Output plastic. I don't know how fast the drones can supply it. Uh, you're gonna request plastic from other distributors and belt it into the tower. You need a power thing. Okay. So that'll send some plastic into the planetary network. Um, what was the other thing we were looking for? We have, we have maybe some extra organic crystals. I'm not sure. So, let's come back over here and look at the crystal production. Crystal production goes along here. You guys are... You have a lack of refined oil. Where's your refined oil supposed to be coming from? Why are you having a lack of refined oil? Oh, the majority is going into plastic production. So the splitter here is saying, yeah, we're now eating all that plastic into the planetary network. So, huh. Maybe we turn the priority off here? If we turn the priority off, this should split more evenly. Some of it should come over here to go into crystal production. Which means our plastic throughput, all our throughput's going to be kind of crummy now. And we're not going to have any extra crystals, I don't think. Because you guys were being used to make, what, titanium? No, you are being used to make uh, titanium crystals. Hmm. Oh, it looks like I already kind of have somebody requesting these, these crystals. Excuse me. Ah, <laughs> uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of an irritation there. Um, so yeah, we have, we have a problem with this whole chain. Hmm. I don't think we're going to get spare crystals from that. As soon as we can get to warp tech, we should be able to 
search out a planet with easier crystal production, but I might need to take an episode to kind of tinker with that. Um, so what else do we, we have titanium alloy over here. I remember that somewhere. We had quite a lot of it built up somewhere. Yeah, titanium alloy is over here. There's a lot of it. We have a distribution network ready to provide. So let's belt some of this into that tower. Because I don't... Somebody else is using some of this, but... Let's see, you're full. You have space. We just built that one. Wait, where did... Where's the one we just built? Right here? You're only being used for plastic? Alright, well, this is closer to the titanium. Let's double check how you're set up here. Oh, you're an interstellar. Oh, I don't want to mess with you then. No, then we will go, then we will go over here. So actually that means what we want to do here is demand remote. This is for the future. We want to demand remote titanium alloy and we want to demand remote plastic from somewhere and feed it into the tower over there. Uh, the planetary network so that we're not duplicating this at some point we're going to demand remotely yeah there's no source for these interstellarly um but when there are then from we'll get it we'll get it at this interplanetary and it'll feed over into this planetary over here and distribute that way okay so you are also going to ask for titanium alloy and you're gonna supply the local planetary network. And we're gonna get some with another depot uh, over here, like this. I'm gonna come over like this and bop in there. Okay, looks good. Let's throw logistics distributor on you. Let's have you uh, request from others, titanium alloy. Uh, let's fill you up bots. Okay, looks good. So local logistics is requesting from production, goes into the planetary, which is supplying. And then we have another planetary over at the mall, which is saying, hey, give me that stuff. We also have a nearby interplanetary tower that we can supply from another planet at some future point. Okay. Uh, it's feeling good, feeling good. Let's head back over to the mall and figure out what we're going to do next. So we should be starting to get some of that in here. Uh, I need to filter my outputs because I set you up here, right? Oh no, I did graphene. Let's switch you to uh, titanium alloy. They're even kind of the same shape, which might be bad. I don't know. I might pick the wrong one up by accident. Okay. So plastic goes here. How do I set the filter? You go to plastic and you go to titanium alloy. Okay. Starting to come together. Uh, let's get, I think we'll have to do a custom setup here. Let's get another tower, kind of. How many belts away are you? You're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have a belt. We have room for a belt going down from the input, something like that. And we have the power tower right there. And then let's copy you. I think like that looks correct. No, one up. 
one over. I think that's right. Oh, I missed it. I think that's correct. No, it's one more over, I think. Because this has one, two, and then the corner. So if we pull out of you and connect up, then you're, yeah, visible is one, two, then the corner. Okay. Uh, let's clear all your settings, though. Clear, 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 clear. All right, uh, we're done with you. We're done with you. Okay. So we're going, you're gonna need three, you're gonna need a bunch of belts here. Let's set up some outputs. So this, this one's custom, but I want it to look nice. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Uh, it makes more sense to belt from the right than it does from the left, since it's already custom anyway. Let's set down the power tower right there. So from that line, you're one, two away. Okay. And then whatever we're going to put out with you is going to go down here. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, so... Yeah, one space for the power tower and the next to the belt. Yeah. Okay. And we have the belt coming in like this. And the sorters. Is this right? No, it's not close enough. It needs to be one closer. Okay. Let me just get let me just grab this. And we'll grab a power tower as well, which would go right there. Let me control C this. Uh, we'll just save this as a temporary blueprint. Okay. Temporary blueprint, come on out. You're going to be one. Nope, those are too close. One. Two, three, four. Is that right? There's one space to walk. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, looks good. Now for the belts. Let's have them all come to the right here. So you're going to come up like this, or down like this, rather, and then we'll have another belt coming down like this, going over to you, have a, another one over here, coming down like this, going over to you. This looks fine. This looks good. You're going to come down to here, and then make your way over and join him. Okay. Then, we do output belts, one uh, to two. Connect to you. Connect to you. And why don't you come out? Nope, that's wrong. Let's get one more output belt over here and have you come over like this. Okay, looks good. So now we gotta figure out what's going in here. What do we have on planet that I could theoretically put in here um, that we don't already have? Maybe engines? We have thrusters in an interplanetary tower, but I don't think we have them on the mall yet. I don't think so. Yeah, we don't. All right, so let's do engines, thrusters. Engines, thrusters, reinforced thrusters. Everybody go down to 
3,000 max. Okay. We will demand from the planet. Like I said, there are thrusters available. I think we have engine production somewhere too. Uh, number two. It's weird how... There we go. Like, you have to be in pretty close. So you're going to be thrusters. You're going to be reinforced thrusters. You're going to be engines. Uh, that's fine. So let me go see about... What else can we stick in here? Uh, we can put in... I think we can put, like... Maybe combustible units I think we have production of. We don't have any production for plasma exciters, photon combiners. Or particle containers, other than boutique boutique ones. Why don't I do missiles here? It's always good to have missiles, and I have a production chain of that. Um, although I would like... I don't have production chains for the shells, but I do have production chains for the missile sets. So let's get what we have. It'll be missiles. So, uh, I think engines and missiles we have available in production somewhere on planet. Let's see if we can go find them and put them into a planetary tower. I honestly think it's going to be faster to go this way. What are we looking at over here? Uh, this is steel production, which I don't know that we need anymore, although it is feeding Foundation. Foundation's another one we could put into a planetary network. Um, there's like a little bit of... There's a little bit of uh, production over here that we could capture. Like, these are going into blue cubes, so I don't want to mess with them. Don't we have... Yeah, oh, so over here we have... Uh, we have combustible units. These are set to provide other distributors, so that's fine. We'll get that into the to a tower network at some point. Don't we have engine production over here? I feel like at one point we did. Just not sure where I put it. Uh, why are you angry? Why are you red? Excess items? Okay. Looks like I did set up a little... Yeah, I set up a little network here to produce these particle containers. So we could put these into a planetary network. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, you know what? The, uh, the missile production is here as well. That's this line. Oh, and I guess I have a little bit of... Is this fully automated? Engines are coming from somewhere. Yeah, you've got a route. You've got a route. You've got a route. So somebody's making engines for you. And I'm using all this to make, what, the... These things? Yeah, we don't need to be making any more of these. Hmm. Electromagnetic turbines. Uh, I would like to provide missiles to a planetary tower. Or possibly just route them in directly. I'd like to know where the engines are coming from. And then we have particles here as well. All right, this seems like a good place to stick down a tower real quick. A planetary. Let's see if we can squeeze it in here. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's provide missiles directly to the tower rather than this box. I think that's fine. Uh, which means we're done with you. Are you powered? Yeah. So you're going to supply missiles to the network. That's fine. It'll fill in slowly, but I, I mean, I'd rather just get this set up now. Uh, what else are we making here that I can supply? Engines are coming from somewhere. So rather than putting them into this box, let's just put them into... The tower. Yeah. 
You're requesting engines. Let's feed you in. That seems good. Uh, that's a little bit on the stretchy side. There we go. Uh, so you'll provide engines to the world. Where are engines? Right there. Supply. Okay. I don't know where you're pulling them from, but somebody's making them, so that's fine. The bots can fly it here. You can belt into the tower. Same with the missile production. Uh, I seem to have made myself a bunch of these. So... Rather than being here, why don't we just stick these into the planetary network? So, like, I can... This is so cool. I can zoom out. I can go over to... Um... The mall. Somebody here is producing or providing those electromagnetic turbines, right? I think it's this one. Yeah. So we can literally just take these and stick them in here from across the planet. How about that? Uh, who is requesting them? Somebody is requesting them. I think it might be someone here. Oh boy, that could be messy. Uh, you're producing them. I don't want to produce them anymore here. So let's tear some of this stuff down. Yeah, I want to tear a lot of this temporary crap down now. Uh, I probably need to get rid of this proliferator. Although it's not proliferated, so maybe I'll just... It feels wasteful, but I think I'm just going to delete it. Um, I don't need these, these magnetic coils either. So I guess I'm just going to delete those. I don't need these motor producers, which means I don't need whatever this all was. I don't need you anymore. Okay. Uh, who is re who is requesting? Where where are those going? I kind of need to follow that and see where those are going. So who's requesting electromagnetic turbines? Because this was falling, right? Where is this going out to? Damn it, I needed that open. Where is that going? Oh, I guess it's... No, it's just going into... It's just going into the storage depots, right? Yeah, it's just going into the storage depots. I panicked. I thought they were flying somewhere. No, we're, we're golden. We're golden. They're just going into here for now. Perfect. Okay. Um... So yeah, there's a lot of mall cleanup I need to do. We want to leave this in place to create the missiles for this tower. That's fine. Looks like we're feeding some copper in. And some... Missile sets out. So we're feeding in copper. Uh, we're feeding in... Combustible units and engines. And we're feeding in circuit boards. So the combustible units... are being built here. And I might need some of them to go into a tower as well. Hmm. Well, okay, that's probably fine. Uh, I guess we can stick these in as well. Yeah, we're using copper graphene. Oh, this is demanding these guys. Where are you demanding them from? Yeah, zero available routes. Okay. So, I would like to capture these since we made some. I think I'll just leave this here as it is for now. Because we'll, we'll come and grab these until this is empty. And then we'll tear this down and rebuild it somewhere else, probably. In fact, why don't I just... Can I grab these? 600? How many can I fit in? 
600 is the max. All right. No, 800 is the max. Okay. So this will produce a little more of that. I guess there's a few in here. Uh, so what did we get set up? We got set up with missiles and engines. There's something else I'm producing over here, I think. Well, we've got lots of little mini things, but I don't think there's anything else like that's fully automated. Some of these guys flying around. Uh, we don't need these circuit board production anymore. We've got massive circuit board production coming in from elsewhere on the planet. So let me delete these and this. And now this is providing... Oh, shoot. I didn't want to do that. This is providing to him. Uh, there's still an available route on circuit boards, so I guess it'll just... Well, no, it's here. This is going to fill out soon. It's going to run out soon. Uh, I probably want to put those back then. What were you guys making? What were you doing? You were a manufacturer. You were one manufacturer making... Uh, circuit boards. It's probably okay to leave. Leave this running for now. Let's put you back the way you were. And then you guys need logistics requesters again. For your types. Uh, request... Request. Okay. Well, we've got more work to do, but that's a lot of it kind of done-ish. In terms of like looking around what we're already built, looking around for what we're already building. Um, I, at some point, I'm gonna have to do a big teardown on a lot of this stuff. Once we've got interplanetary stuff up and running, that seems good. Here's our engine distribute. Here's our engine production. Provide to other distributors. Some of this is now feeding into the tower, right? Yeah, little bits and bobs are dripping in here, I think. Yeah, very slowly. And if we go back to the mall and check it out. So, iron, copper, silicon, titanium, brick, glass, magnets, magnetic coils, energetic graphene, diamonds, steel, prisms, gears, circuit boards, motors, electromagnetic carbine, uh, turbines, supermagnetic rings, uh, plastic, proliferator mark three, titanium alloy. Uh, we're starting to get engines here and thrusters and missile sets. Uh, we're going to need to set up a little itty-bitty chain for reinforced thrusters back behind. What does that need? Uh, titanium alloy and electromagnetic turbines. Uh, so we'll set that up next time. Um, we'll continue... We might grab this as a blueprint and just move it to the right here until we hit the edge. There's so many... There's still more things that I need. But we're getting close. We're getting close to having our item mall, item side of the mall done. Uh, pretty soon after that, we're going to be able to, do, to work on the building side of the mall. And then this will become the new hub, the new center of the universe for Icarus and our Dyson Sphere program. Guys, that's going to be it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm glad we're back to making progress down here. I'm excited about it. Uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks. Take care. Bye.